Hi, this is James Mullen. I will be reviewing how to edit hand surgery videos using iMovie. First, you want to import the video files that you would like to use for the video. Once they are imported, then you will drag and drop the video file into the storyboard. You can expand and shrink the timeline of the storyboard so that it fits the video appropriately. Next, you want to remove the audio. And then you want to crop down the image so that essentially the operative field takes up the entire screen. Once the image is then cropped, there's a very useful shortcut keyboard command function, which is Command B, and that splits one clip into two clips. As you can see here, I'm splitting one clip into two clips in order to cut out unwanted parts of the video. Here you can see that the camera angle moves, and therefore I need to adjust where the crop of the image is located. Now the image is once again centered, and I am further editing the video here, which is a Styles Bunnell intrinsic tendon transfer. And here you can see the clip is split from one into two in order to cut out unwanted parts of the video. Once the portion of the clip is split that you do not want, then you just delete that clip. Here again, I'm moving the cropped image so that the image is centered on the screen. Here you can see some struggling of the suture passer, which I will later edit out. And here you can see the clip being split, and then that portion is deleted. That clip is then split, and again, that portion is deleted. So that eventually, you'll just see the tendon passer pass smoothly, and then the tendon is shuttled. And as you can see, you can expand the video into a longer storyboard, or shrink it down to a much smaller size, depending on how specific the editing needs to be from clip to clip. If you would like to record video, you click the microphone in the bottom left corner. It will then give you a countdown after you click the record button. And the video will then play in the background while you narrate. Once you're finished recording, you hit the record button. The audio clip can then be edited in exactly the same way as the video clip, in which areas with no sound can be cut out, and the clip can be split, and portions of the audio can then be moved forward or backward to time up with the video better. You can also eliminate pauses and words that are misspoken, as you can drag and drop and clip different parts of the audio the same exact way as the video is edited. If you want to reinsert more audio, you can move the clips around so that you can re-record certain portions if mistakes were made. Next, for titles, you can drag and drop a title overlaying the actual video clip in which you enter in whatever text you would like. Next, if you would like to import various images or x-rays, those can be drag and dropped into the storyboard in the same sequence, such as PowerPoint slides, which can be saved as an image file and then imported in. I find making title slides on PowerPoint to be quite effective. These can be exported as image files and then imported in to iMovie. The file is then dragged in to the storyboard.
Here you can see the title overlaying the video with image files sequenced in while the video is playing. Next, when you're ready to export the video, you name the video, pick high resolution at 1080p, and then save it to the appropriate folder. If you want to exit out of the project, you can save the project so that the edits are saved. Thanks very much for watching this tutorial.